Hi and hello everyone and welcome back to our Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition multiplayer series featuring myself, Berg787 and Grey Hunter. Say hello. Hello. Okay, so we finished the uh, museum. Let's go down the stairwell because that's like a definite safe place so we can just heal, rest up. Yep. We can nap our woes away. Yeah. Well, I I'd imagine it's still a definite safe spot. I would hope so. We should turn up the thermostat. <laughs> yeah, just to be not. sure. I reckon it's on full power. Vera was one of those people who, even in summer, insists that the heater is sometimes necessary. No, Vera was still conscious about conscious about how much it costs to heat, so she didn't want to crank it up too much to like <laughs> actually free everyone. All right, let's uh, rest. Cool. That should have worked. Yeah, there we go. We're alive. Right. And then let's just get out of here. Now we're going to go over and fix that bridge. We are. We got that engineering That is literally textbook. all we've got left. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing, see, seeing as Karish wasn't like the uh, badge bearer of this area, I'm guessing that that bridge leads us to the guy who killed yeah. his face. Jorl? Is, a... is it Jorl that we're going after, or is Jorl the yeah, dude who Jorl. killed the guy? I can't remember. Jorl is the dude who... Jorl is the guy who is now... Can you move your... There we go. Yeah, they're all hanging out over there. I know, but she on my screen she hadn't moved, and Dwarf Shanks was behind her, and it was like, get out of the way, bitch. <laughs> move I do like up. how... I do like how we've got no engineering experience whatsoever, but we've got a book. Hey, we found we a textbook. We, we, can, we can do stuff. It's like Idiot's Guide to... Uh, Bridge building. <laughs> Dwarven bridge building for dummies. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, it's night time, is it? Okay, cool. Well, how about that? I'm off. It's very kind of like 19. pre 1970s movie night time, though, where, like, <laughs> you know how, like, in those old movies where they would, like, it, it was obvious that they were filming in the daytime, but they put, like, a filter over the lens. Yeah, the colors all really to, to kind of it, washed out, but it doesn't yeah, look to make quite it right. Darker. <laughs> because they could, they didn't have the technology to film at night. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what it kind of looks yes. like. Or they used night lenses and they realized that it didn't look quite proper. It was all too washed out. It's only in the, it's only sort of like in the seventies where they decided where they worked out how to do stuff like that. I used to love it in like cowboy movies because it just so clearly looks like a blue sky just <laughs> just darked out because of like the, the the filter that they've got on the lens. But... <laughs> All right, so what do we do here? Do we just... Well, I don't how do know. we fix it? I'm, I'm guessing maybe... Or did we fix it already? Did we fix it? No, because we can't cross it. Hmm. Oh, Does the bridge is All right. Oh, it we just go. managed... It, it magically happened. I think whoever actually had the book maybe stepped on the bridge and then... And the fire thief leveled. I was going to say, we got 60,000 XP for that. And there's a cave over here. That's pretty good. All right, before we go in the cave, let me level up then. So what was that? Was that his uh, fighter level or his... It's thief level. He gained an additional twenty-one. He gained one hit point. <laughs> gained one additional hit point. What am I going to put this uh, crap into? Because open locks and find traps are pretty much as high as they are. I move silently. I don't really use it. I think detect illusion. I'm going to keep bumping up. That would probably be pretty handy. Because I mean, like we've encountered uh, people who use that mirror image thing to stop us from smacking them in the face. Um... My thief level is 11, but my fighter level is 8. Seems a bit strange. No, well, that kind of makes sense. I mean, um, Adria's level is 6 for fighter. No, 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 but Adria's, Adria's for... is... No, 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 but Adria's a dual class. I'm multi-class. Yeah, but some, like, some classes have lower leveling requirements. Like a bard has All ridiculously right. low experience requirements. A tard. Compared to pretty much everything else. Let me sing you the song of my people. Although to so be fair, to, to be, be fair, fair, the uh, the war chant of Sith is pretty decent. Of Sith, yes. The Sith, the Sith, the Sith, the bears. Um, <laughs> the bears. Uh, come on, let's get in this fucking cave. Well, I'm I'm waiting for it to go. Hey, you're uh! in the cave. It was a trap. It's only stinking wolves. No. We'll be fine. Winter wolves. Not even like regular uh, they, dire wolves. They've got wolves. like annoying little spells, but that's about it. 
Oh man, if only these Winter Wolf pelts were worth anything, we'd have tons of <laughs> If they were worth shit. I'm here. May the gods have mercy on you. Oh, there's like a little cubby hole over here. I wonder where that goes. Do you want to explore it? Or are we not following that rule of enter every door that you come to? No, because this is this is like a I think this is like a different door, right? This is like leaves the area. It's a tunnel. Okay. Well it doesn't have um like it doesn't have a door sign thing, you know, on the maps how it comes up with like a passage to such and such. All right, usually. All right, let's go. Let's go so it might let's be go. okay. Ah! What? I can't see what's on the other side. All right, from what I can see, one, two, three, four, five big trolls. The oh, ones good. that we need to actually <laughs> set fire to, and two little ones. So Look. I'm going to run back out. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me change my orders then so I stay on this side. All right, go. Hopefully they follow us out because it'll be uh, easy to fight them. So it'll be a trap. Something wrong. Guys, on my way. trolls. Are you, are, you, are you not? I'm here. Right? Are you just not interested? Why do they follow us out when we don't want them to follow us out? <laughs> but if they want to follow us out, then they're like, no, we're all right. Because reasons. Did you see anything interesting on that side? Or do you reckon just leave them for now? Um, I don't really know. I mean, let's go and fight them. Okay. No, no, it's, it's a bit cramped. That's the thing. Let's come back to them. All right. We'll come back. We'll, we'll come back. We'll explore the places. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, what's this? A little, a little, a little fucking Frostbite. dragon. His name is Frostbite. And there's white worms. Do we All want right. to talk to Frostbite? <laughs> God, no. Hey, Frostbite. How you doing? Hmm. What here? It's not slave. It's not giant. What is? What What it want? Well, I would ask you some questions, Frostbite. Questions? It has? Ask. What do we want to ask? Um, your lair is littered with human bones. <laughs> I get the feeling that we know why. I, like, I don't think that that's a question that we kind of go, hey, how come you've got all these bones around? Is that Did for decoration? Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know, ask what you What kind of creature <sighs> are you, I guess? I frostbite. Other names not have. No matter names other than frostbite. Oh, I see. So you're like the leader. Yes. Um, Questions it has? Ask. Deja vu. Who are you then? <laughs> I, I can guess here. I frostbite. It not knows. <laughs> now it does. Oh, frostbite. If you weren't obviously eating things that we'd prefer That's didn't exactly eat. the same answer he basically had to... Um, to what are you? It really like, is. Who are you? Yeah. Well, might as well ask him about the human bones. Yeah, what, what's with that? Human? Food! Frostbite eats! Clan eats. You eat people. Humans. Humans. Elf. Gnome. Not matter. All food. Well, I, at least he's honest, I guess. Um, should, well, should we... this must come to an end. Yeah, I'm thinking that we have to stop him from <laughs> eating people. Funny how he doesn't want to eat us, but all right. And not tell Frostbite. And it want end. Frostbite gives it end. Die. <laughs> so cheerful. So be it. So be it, Jedi. <laughs> Frostbite seems kind of pissed. How many friends does he have? Don't run off that way, there might be more of them. I'm not running away, I'm just, I'm looking, I'm pressing tab to see, like, their uh, names. We're, we're alright, we'll, we'll smash these guys up. I'm... He appears to only have four friends, like, in total. If we, if we can't beat these fucking, like, five total stinking frostbite worms, whatever they are. I think we need to hand in our adventurer cards if we can't deal with these guys. You know, we'll smash them up, I'm going to unpause, alright? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, what the hell, there's a big giant over there. Can you see him? Yeah, but he doesn't seem hostile. I think he doesn't care. Whoa, hello, hello, hang on, hang on. Jesus Christ. I pressed pause and it didn't pause, so Adria is down. And then it unpaused and it's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. This what? is good. One, what, what is actually... Oh, that was my character, right? Okay. Crap, where's the nearest place we've got to go to heal? I have no idea. Uh, to be fair, we can... Unless... We could travel out. 
does uh, Dwarf Shanks have Resurrect yet? Is he high enough level for that? No, I don't think so. Can I help? Well, that's a shame. Um, I will collect up her thing. <coughs> no. All right, well, we'll have to head back to Kaldahar or something like that. That's right, really annoying issues. because I ha I hammered pause like I hit it and it did absolutely nothing so I did it again. You know what it was? You know what it was? I think it was one of those where it was kind of like, it, yeah, because you because you hammered it twice, it took a second, then then it kind of you know what I mean. I do not like this. I am most it's annoying. Pleased. But all right, let's let's just finish these guys off and and then we'll um we'll go back and heal her. Yes. I am very displeased by this. Game, why you why you annoy me? And now Dwarf Shanks is getting eaten. It's all right, don't worry. Your time draws near. Well, fine. I'll tell you what. They were a bit trickier than what we gave them credit for. Yeah, they seemed uh, they seemed like kind of pushovers, and then they sort of weren't. Well, I think it was the great voice acting made them sound like pushovers. <laughs> all right, before we go and speak to him or. Or open that chest. I say we head back. Okay. Um, I'm tr yeah, I'm trying to think of where we would need to go, though. Uh, yeah, I think we do need to go all the way back to Kaldahar. But I don't think it's that awkward to get there, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, there's, like, there's... that passageway at the other end of the... Uh, what's it called? The, um, the other end of this area. Uh, that leads know, back to, like, the... I always like to think of how annoying it is to get back to somewhere, as in how many screens we have to go through to get well, that, Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking how can we minimize that, and I think we only have to go through, like, three. How did we get to this area? Like, what was up north over here? Where did what, where, where, where was that entrance or exit? Or uh, we came out of that tomb where we fought Terracan. Up at Dawn's Deep. Yeah, right. and then uh, this other way... Well, wait, wasn't there, like, that... Wasn't there someone there who, who would resurrect us? There was that... Oh! What the hell? No, don't pause. No, no, don't press anything. Whoa. Stop. Hello. Where the... Whoa. That, that's all those trolls that, that, that were in that tunnel, I think. Those are your friends. They followed us out. Right away. Okay, so... See? This is, this is just the game fucking with us now. They didn't follow us I out when we were standing over there. Now they followed us out when we're one person down. Um, I mean, we can take them, but run across the bridge first. Yeah. So you think uh, Nolan or Novel... Norrell, a dwarf I dude. If the dude's, I don't. I can't remember if he's still there or whether he disappeared. Yeah, that was my thinking. I don't remember if he stayed or not. Well, I don't know. we can go back to him, or we can. No, go no, no, no. We'll go to Kaldahar because the thing is, if that isn't the case, if he has fucked off, then we've got a lot more screens to go. Because I thought we made him way. like we put him at peace, and then he. No, no. Listen, it, he might be nearer technically in terms of screens, but if we're wrong, it's a lot more that we have to go through. So let's just no, that's what I mean. On. Like, I think we put him at peace and he left. I'm fairly certain. Yep. So I'm, I'm not 100, percent but I wouldn't want to risk it. So all right, you ready? Hey, hang on, I'm just turning off the script so my guys actually run away because we we don't want to deal with these guys, do we? We're, we're just I mean, gonna we can't fight them. I don't, I don't mind, but like, we can just run away as well if you want. Well, I don't really care. I'm just <laughs> let's just run away. Let's just run. Away. Yeah, because all right, I'm thinking book it. Get. Where are we going? Oh yeah, over here. That's right. Okay. Yeah, away. <laughs> to the ice tunnel. Yes. Basically. Okay. You ready? Go on. Yeah. I'm pause. I've, oh, I've already it. ordered it. They should be running. They're not running though. They're just standing there. No, they're not. Right, I like that these <laughs> trolls are so much slower than us, so we can actually outrun them. Yeah. Hopefully they'll be a bit scattered when we come back. Well, on the other hand, that's kind of good, because, I mean, if they came out and they followed us, that means we don't have to fight them in that cramped cave that you were talking about. Not all, not all of them are there, though, because I'm pretty sure there was five big trolls in well, that cave. we can deal with it. Right. We can deal with them later. On the other hand, I'm fairly impressed, because that's, like, the first time that something has actually killed a character in how long? Pretty much since Dorshank. Like, oh, yes. since Dorshank's got blown up. And to be fair, you probably would have survived if it hadn't been for a bit of pause jiggery pokery. Yeah. I don't know. Cause it I was... wasn't like, oh crap, we're so overmatched. Because like, mm. we, she didn't get a chance to like cast her spells for armor or anything? Well, as I said, it was just a bit annoying because of the double tap pause. You know, you're screwed. Yeah. Now, I think it's lag on my end for the most part because like we're obviously so far away from each other. 
Road to Calderheart, Lower Dawn's Deep. Why would we ever want to go to Lower Dawn's Deep? Well, that's the next place we have to go, I think, for quest progression. Oh, that's right. It was kind of blocked, wasn't it, or something like that? Something like that. Um, uh, so we're going back to Calderheart. Yes. Sure, you don't want to go to the Vale of Shadows? I'm pretty sure the Vale of Shadows is uh, is just no. I'm not not interested. Although Kresselak, he was pretty cool. Yeah, he was, he was a cool dude. I don't know if I want to speak to him again. I mean, it's always nice hearing the Elder Gods' voice. I wonder if they bothered to put in dialogue if you ever went back to visit him. Nah, you know what it would be? It would be like the same dialogue that you get when you finish your conversation with him, where it's like, now go, leave me. It wouldn't be like you haven't been there in ages, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it would be kind of cool like, if you could go back and it would visit be him. Yeah, and then it was like, he took into account that it was like, how many days since? Now, it would be like as if you had just been speaking to him, that's yeah. what the dialogue would be. Or if he I took into account that like he's but. like, oh yeah, you found that evil that we were talking about? The evil that you kind of insinuated that you knew what it was but <laughs> but you didn't i'm glad you found it good job guys um yeah. i feel like feel like there was new dialogue there but that's, i don't know. That can't <laughs> well this is where all, right, all the money just, is going <laughs> I, I was about to say this is this is where it's good that we've got a ton of cash because what is she she's like a proper full-blown like yeah, she's like a level 12 oh. druid and a level 6 kensai, so God knows how much she's going to cost to resurrect. Right, we've got 133,000, almost 134,000. Yeah. It costs 6,700 to raise the dead. Oh, that's not too uh, bad. Resurrect her costs 10 grand. I almost feel like just resurrecting her, just to save. Uh, we've got to heal anyway. Well, not really, because, I mean, like, we're here anyway. We might as well sell the stuff that we brought back with us and identify yeah. stuff if we've got it. Yeah, 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 so we're going to just raise her, not resurrect her. Yeah. I wonder why she doesn't cost as much, because remember when we had to resurrect... Um... I think she does cost as much, it just doesn't seem she costs as much, because... Yeah, but wasn't it like 4,000-odd for Shmendwan when we had to resurrect him? Also, I just I just paid to identify something, because we've got so much money and I can't be bothered. <laughs> you know, it only costs 100. It costs 100 gold pieces to identify something. But, you know, well, why not? Start the end of the world. What it was was the Potion of Life Transference. Which does? I don't know. I can't see. Oh, uh, no, I can't see because I, it's kind of grayed out because I can't sell it here. Is there anything that you've got that you can sell here, by the way? Uh, I don't know. I will have a look in a oh, second. Actually, can I sell? Am I am I just selling Porky Pies? I might be. Is that all of her stuff? I'm pretty sure that was all of her stuff, except for the spear that we can't. Hold on to. Well, uh, we potion hold of on life transparency typically found the surrounding level. What does it do? It gives you. Oh, it gives you plus one strength permanent and minus one constitution. Hmm. That might be worth it, depending on the character build. Like for a dwarf, that might not be <laughs> such a bad deal because dwarves, like dwarves, get an extra. Well, um, if I gave it to dwarf shanks, he would go. Basically, his strength is 1897, and his constitution is 19. So, um, to I'm be gonna honest, ditch the spear of white ash on her because we don't need it. Yeah, I, I don't think it's worthwhile doing it with, with him, but but I can certainly see the uh, the reason. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't do it either. But I'm I'm thinking I to myself, gonna... I can see the point. Like for some characters. Yeah. I, I don't think off. you know what if it was a swap to give him better dexterity to lose his constitution by one I think I might do that because that would get his dexterity up to 18 it would drop his constitution to from 19 to 18 but I kind of wouldn't mind that oh no maybe I would hmm I'd... so do um, we have anything else that we want to do here I mean like uh, can you sell those gems yeah I'm, I'm selling them now it's just I've got so many of them <laughs> Yeah, actually, how many did we pick up in that whole adventure? Um, I've sold a bunch already. Uh, you're looking at probably about 50, 60, I would say. Actually, probably even more. Well, Somewhere we're between back 50. up to 130,000, so... A there was lot. a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Somewhere between 50 and 100. I uh, don't want to sell any of the potions I've got in there. Ammo, obviously, don't want to sell... Uh, pearl. Well, I've got some over here as well. Potion of. I'm going to keep a hold of that potion of life transference. 
I'm going to sell, apparently that note to Kerish is worth two gold pieces. I'm going to sell it. <laughs> Oh, okay. I just imagine her buying that and then looking at it and being like, who the fuck is Kerish? Yeah, Who's this frostbeard um, guy? Why do I care? Alright, so where are we going now? We've got nothing else to sell, right? I don't believe so. I mean, I think we sold so we can literally, here. We can literally leave. Yeah, do we have anything that you need to identify <coughs> or whatnot? That would be worth resting? I'm not... You know why it wouldn't be worth resting? Because it's a punish to get to that fucking inn. So... <laughs> Let's just go back and okay. we'll rest on. The we can pro yeah, we can probably rest in that. Um, you know what? You know what? Make me feel thing. better. Just when we do go and rest and stuff like that, just to make sure that something silly doesn't happen. Yeah, I'm gonna throw down a healing spell on her, so she doesn't die instantly. That would be kind of awkward. Yeah. There we go. That should give her like, oh, survivability to run away. Yeah. All right. So, where are we going to? Worms 2. Uh, yes. Is it going to jump us back to that bit? Yeah, it must do, actually. It's the only I way we can... don't know. I think No, it's no, no. It'll, it'll put us the, the way road. we came. I think, yeah. yeah, it'll put us the way we came, where, where we left, rather, because there's no other way to get to this path, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so, that was it's exciting. Weird. That was an exciting yeah, was episode. Do you reckon we can rest here? I'm here. I don't see why not. Done. All right. And Let's then we should probably end the episode there. And yeah, continue our adventures in the next one. Oh, an outdoors campfire. This is this is odd. And we actually made it as well. We didn't get ambushed, from what I can tell. Yeah, we're, we're safe. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to pause and we're going to save. But um, thank you for watching. We are now going to go back in that room and speak to that big giant dude who was in there and probably kill those trolls that tried to ambush us and open that chest. There was like some sort of altar chest thing in there. Yeah, there were things in there to find out about. Yeah. I want them. Stuff and things. But that'll be on the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.